ايوري غليت حلا دوكا نيوت ادرار ندرن اغني سفاو you have all these beautiful moments in between that you that you just cannot book or cannot exactly. yeah, yeah you meet so many wonderful people all along the way um, that's what it's about in the end my name is Mustafa I came from the Atlas Mountains of Morocco especially from the Mnir Valley which is considered the, the center of mountain tourism in Morocco it's a, it's a French word it's used like even in Arabic we say piste piste it's piste so like this is the common word for this kind of roads piste in French I'm in Morocco with Matt and Mustafa we're going 15 kilometers an hour with a bit of corrugation on some very loose sandy gravel we're wrecking a route for glorious gravel did I say we're in Morocco? we're in Morocco, we're in Morocco. Gonna have to take some of these back. My, That's my these are the most famous, aren't they? The most famous in the like in the Arabic countries yeah. are in Saudi Arabia. It's called Ujwa. It's the okay. little sweet one. All right. So, but in Europe, these are the ones that if you cook or with dates, yeah. it's always uh, these ones. Absolutely amazing. Just yeah. Day rolls. Day rolls. <laughs> Day rolls. <laughs> How are you finding it so far, Matt? Good, hot, dry, dusty. Oh no! You are getting a photo of that, Josh. Josh, so tell me about your room decision making, yeah? Well, I went on the other side, I didn't follow my stuff, but I jumped up with local knowledge. <laughs> went into the mud. And, uh, yeah, nice. So, moral of the story? Follow Mustafa. We need to bring an extra bike. Yeah. It's a nice Unbelievable. No brakes, no gears, no headset bearings. Still keeping up with us. It just, it's just surreal. You know, you come here with a, a lovely bike. You know, you fly in here and most kids, it's... Uh, Make do with what they've got. Make do with what they've got. Very humbling. Great to see the the local kids on bikes. Love Josh. Welcome to Morocco. Thank you. It's a beautiful ride. We have to ride for about four days towards the Atlantic Ocean. From previous visits to Morocco, one of my favorite things has been pomegranate fanta. So I'm dreaming of that right now. like in Morocco it's not always like a smooth road but always expect it hard you know sometimes we get through some rocky sections but they're not that longer ones so it's like a different terrain from the area to another or from the tribes to another it's always like different terrains especially that when you traverse the Atlas Mountains they, they are so rich in material resources that's why you get like different colors from the place to another even the the, 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 the I mean the ground or the Turan it's always different what what's the highest point of the Atlas mountains do you know it's in front of us absolutely so it's Tukal mountain it's the highest peak in, in Morocco and in the Arab world as well it's uh, <laughs> just Look at it from the first, you would see Tukal mountain, like how huge is it? And the meaning of Tukal means the one that locks the ground from above. This is the meaning of it, because it's pretty high. And it's the one which is like, co like yeah. covered in by the snow. So that's the, 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 highest, uh, the highest mountain in Morocco. And in North Africa. In North Africa as well.
As a family, we surround the table, so everybody keeps eating from the same ceramic pot, just This is like aubergine, and here we have coral, lemon, and cinnamon. It's like a vegetarian tagine. It's like a chicken with fried potatoes, and that's like queens. And then potato with some parsley and paprika. That's egg with tomato sauce with pepper. It's like the or meal of uh, the day. Three times. Three times. And then the fourth one should be served. That's so hot. Uh, yeah. Put some sugar in it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Create an energy gel. Well, no, no, no problem. How good's that, Josh? Oh, much better with sugar in it. Technically, the eggs, they came in a tagine. Didn't take a photo, that was tagine number two, so this is tagine number four. Madame oh. Petit, this Let's chicken go. with vegetables and yeah. this just vegetables. All of this. <laughs> I <laughs> love something uh, more cultural. Do you want Do you want that or not? You can have it later? I yes. will have it okay. later, yeah. I'll have one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> He's really good at it. <laughs> yeah. Big day yesterday. Good morning. Good morning. Where are we going today? Today we're gonna go towards the Tizin uh, Test Pass. There we have a night at the altitude of 2100 meters. Already been plugged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Double plug as well. That one. Oh, that's a pain. I wonder if we can get another one in. Wonder if that will do. <sighs> we are at the Tizin Tesh Pass one of the passes which is linking the Atlas Mountains valleys because this is Tizin Test? Tizin Test Tizin Test Test and the other one is Test okay. so we're gonna go over both of them like Tizin Test is the little one Tizin Test is the, is, the, is the big one but even the altitude here it's 1.9 so it's pretty close to the one we're gonna have a night yeah so the second one it's like 2.1 so like okay. this is different and it's like a beautiful uh, pass which is surrounded by a lot of junipers There was an uh, interesting animal here, which was called like uh, Atlas lion, but it was extinct like uh, a long time ago, during the, the French, uh, during the, the Roman period over here in Morocco. So they used to take a lot of them from here to Roma, like for making a compound for fun. It's like there was a minor reason of taking them. And also the, the last one that was seen here in Morocco, in medium Atlas, not even here, was in 19. If anything, this is better than pomegranate fungi. I'm a man. 
Approve of the coffee? Approve of the coffee, one of the best, best the coffee coffees I have ever had. had. <laughs> yeah, wash away a good morning's ride. How does that taste? Good. Second in, still good. <laughs> it's good to be in the shade for a bit. For lunch, we've been in the, the heat all day. There's been like no shelter from the, from the sun. Um, under a concrete bridge. Well, I don't know if you have constipation, come to Morocco, you'll have no issues. <laughs> Hanging round after last orders. We're still so far from home. It's like we're burning into embers. And as the fire burns, a cold world. As the days keep rolling on, we're living in hell again. But I still hold you in my heart when these days have been and gone. Ooh, 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 ooh. I haven't got a coming right They've got like the stuff you had yesterday. They got. Uh, they've got that tropical passion fruit one or Fanta. What do you fancy? What is it, tropical one? Yeah, I'll go for tropical. Yeah, let's try one of those. Oh, actually, I'm going to go lemon. Love a lemon. <laughs> Cold. Tropical? <laughs> no, even better. Josh? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of saying cheers, we say basaha. What do you say? Basaha. Instead of cheers. Yeah, it's like to your health. Yeah. Basaha. Basaha. According to the Garmin, we've just started a 18.4 kilometer climb with an elevation gain of 780 meters. It's the climb up to Tizzy and Test. We're staying just on the other side. We'll put our lights on just in case we go into the night. Now, one last climb and we'll be Ready for our Tajina of the day. Ah, you? Amazing. We just we've just we've heard everything. Nice. Today is day two hundred twenty-eight. So and nearly eight months. Oh wow. And are you you're cycling with all the gear and your brother's yeah. running with no gear? Tough, it grinds you like yeah. if you every day in this sand and the wind yeah. it's loud it it just you can't escape it's there when you eat when you sleep yeah. when you run when you cycle yeah the original plan was to go from cape town to cairo in our world record time and uh, we made it to addis ababa um, on more or less on schedule uh, but um, we knew that there are conflicts in northern Ethiopia and Sudan um, and we took our chances but by the time we got there unfortunately it's it's not possible to pass through especially not with our setup yeah. so uh, we decided to instead of going back home and abandoning the project altogether uh, go to Dakar Senegal and run up the west coast instead so we keep the distance uh, stayed on the African continent Still uh, do it in record time, but uh, it's not the official record, Cape Town, Cairo, but uh, yeah, Cape everything Town, else. Tangier. Exactly, yeah. And the new uh, record for Cape Town, uh, Tangier. Yeah, I mean, it's not official because we took the plane in between, so they won't uh, count it, but uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. But you um, know you did it. Exactly. Yalla. 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 Y
least. Enjoy, Enjoy the climb. Yeah. And thanks for choosing my uh, hometown for visit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. I'll tell them. Yeah, Staffer, where are we going today? What's the plan? Today, we're heading to Tarudent. Tarudent is the the province of the of the most of the areas in Sussur region. So it's like mostly descending like down the hills <coughs> towards Bur Hill, and then continuation to Tarudent. We're passing like. So many different villages, different tribes, different like valleys, even like passing the Argan trees, the most known tree in Morocco. Seven degrees and actually sleeping under a thick blanket this morning, it was like super cold and suddenly you're down here like four hours later and it's 36 degrees. It's like the, the swings of temperature are huge. Punching number four, last inner tube being fitted. Africa, Mama Africa. We're putting in a 599 Timu TPU inner tube that I've never used before. I'm about to find out if they work or whether uh, that was the worst 599 I ever spent. We're about 40k into today and we're currently cycling through a dry riverbed. There's lots of thorny bushes around and uh, Mustafa has been getting a few punctures. I think he's onto his third tube now. Quick lunch stop, had some frites, some chips. We're now back cycling through the town. It's it's gotten very hot. How hot is it Matt? 36. 36 degrees. Uh, it's November. 36 degrees. Madness. 
just interview him because he's in Moroccan and he's saying it's hot. 36 degrees. It's f nearly four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 36. It's hot. I've been a lot of hot places, but this is like, wow. It's the last 8K. It's been a very tough day with the dust and the heat. Lots of uh, cold drinks. Hopefully finishing daylight now. The last little bit and then dunk in the pool. And maybe, maybe a tagine. Perudent, it's known for the oldest features. historical things inside of the Medina. It also has a, a wall which is surrounding the city, considered the third oldest wall in all over the world. I'm really happy to show the people my lovely city, city wall, Medina, Kasbah. Everyone who come to, to, to Targan, you will find me in Targan. My name is uh, Tami. For, for the Marrakesh people, they originally came from here. You can hear their own dialect when they try to speak Moroccan Darija. It's absolutely like Marrakesh, the Riyads, inside of the Medina, so it's like similar to Marrakesh. <laughs> We're now uh, midway through day four, the final day on the, the glorious gravel trip. It's a part of the route I've actually ridden before, but in the night. Uh, two years ago at the, the Atlas Mountain Race, so it's nice to see it in the daytime. So today is just like, I'm looking like around me, just like unbelievable views, like the mountains and even like the colors of the mountains change from the corner to another even, you know. And largely descending down to the coast to amazing scenery over the, the sea. So we ending up like in uh, at the Tarazout. Don't do this at home. Uh, but it's pretty hot and it's just nice to have a bit of breeze flowing through the locks. Through Definitely the locks. flowing through the locks, yeah. <laughs> These ones up here. We're getting up to 550 meters, so not super high, but it feels pretty like remote up here and haven't seen a car in days. <laughs> Hence no helmet guys. Yeah. We're also going at two miles an hour. 72 meters left, vert. It's incredible the geography around here. Just like this squashed rock, you can really see the layers. That's my um, geography. GCSE geography coming through there. Don't know what to say really. Wow. C'est magnifique. C'est magnifique. What have been your highlights of the, the trip in Morocco? I reckon some of the, the best climbs I've ever done anywhere, just through the mountains. So you just feel like you're so remote, away from everything, everyone. What have we got? We have got pomegranate Fanta. Tarazout is renowned for its surfing, mostly like one of the best oceans here in Morocco.
what do you think? Actually worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> How many tagines did we have in the end? I reckon we probably had about six.